If you compared Australovenator's hand to your own, the Otway claw would be the same as the last knuckle of your finger. In life, this bone would have had a fingernail, a sheath covering it that would have made it much sharper and up to a third longer than it already is. So the Otway claw comes from an agile animal. It was fast moving and probably chased down and caught its prey. It weighed anything up to a thousand kilos, stood about two meters high and about six meters long. The Otway claw was discovered near Cape Otway in 2014. By 2019, we were ready to unveil it. We know how old the Otway claw was because in the rock around it, fossilized pollen and spores from ancient plants has been preserved as well. Even a one centimeter cube of sandstone rock from Cape Otway could contain tens of thousands of fossilized pollen and spores. Australovenator was living in Victoria during the end of the early Cretaceous period. At 110 million years ago, Victoria was down near the modern South Pole, but the earth overall was much warmer at that time. This was a land of forests, of rivers and river valleys. Australovenator would have been living in floodplains with cowrie pine trees and understories of ferns and flowering plants. There were flying reptiles, pterosaurs, alongside other dinosaurs like small ornithopods and ankylosaurs. Freshwater plesiosaurs lived in enormous rivers. They could have been more than a kilometre wide and 30 metres Deep. Underneath the feet of Australovenator were tiny mouse-sized monotremes, dinosaur-aged ancestors to today's platypus and echidna. We've learned some really important things about dinosaur-aged Victoria thanks to the fossils of Australovenator. We now know that Australovenator was the top of the food chain, the apex predator here in Victoria. 